Okay. <clears throat> Hello, folks. Welcome to the channel with myself, Al Pal. Here we are jumping into Kingdom of Wreck business. Now, I'm going to test this one out. It's only just come out uh, about a week ago now. Uh, now, we've done this, I can't remember what it was. I think it was April last year, uh, uh, maybe March. I'm not sure. And it seemed quite good. Now, the thing that gets me now, um, looking on Steam, is saying that it's like mostly negative. So I thought it was pretty good when we played it. We got a lot of good reviews on it. Um, loads of good questions from you guys about it as well. Um, everything seems sweet and dandy, so I don't know what's gone wrong. So I thought, well, we'll jump in anyway then. Let's have a little look at it and, and see what it's all about. Uh, now, with this one... Um, it says the, the depths of the Atlantic hide more than 12,000 sunken ships. Wow, even I didn't know that. They, these are all facts, apparently. Um, out of which, at least half haven't even been located. As a depth explorer, you will earn money from extracting valuable cargo from the wrecks. Uh, grow your company, buy exploration vessels um, and real estate. And I thought, well... That sounds all right, doesn't it, so far? So let's see what's gone wrong, if we can find it. Um, okay. No, no, we, we, we'll, do, we'll start fresh here. Um, in Liverpool. Now, I don't know if that's Liverpool, UK, or Liverpool and States. The thing is, but most of what we've got over here is, is sort of replicated in the state. I don't know why that is, but um, I think it's quite fascinating, really. Uh, diving under 150 metres is impossible. Okay. Oh, I remember this bit. Uh, welcome to your office. Welcome to the Kingdom of Rex business. Here you can look around with the mouse with the WS, the usual stuff. Um, interesting with many... Inter uh, sorry, interact with interesting items with the F. Gotcha. Uh, and press the tab to open the helpful him. Okay. All right. Extended tutorial. Um, well, yeah, go on it. I don't know. Right. So where we are in the office. Um, it feels a little bit laggy. Normally I pause this, but I'm going to show you because I see where it's got negative feedback anyway. Maybe you guys can spot something. I don't know. We'll have a look. But um, I've got it quite high. Is there? Is there like an overall? Let's just put it stuff on a high. And most see most of the good stuff but I've turned off anyway, like the bloom and all that. Ambient occlusion. Depth of field. Keep that off. I might put some of these on actually. Ambient occlusion because it it does the lighting. Okay, that, that, that should be all right. Is it safe? Okay. Resume. Well, that feels a bit smoother. Okay, I'm just checking. I've got the FPS up. You guys can't see it, but I've got it up. Just keep an eye on it. It's 60 at the moment. It all seems okay. It looks fine, doesn't it? So we've got a water dispenser. Oh, look, there you go. So you don't, you don't pick it up. You just, <laughs> you just keep filling it. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, you do your thing there, mate. You do your thing. Uh, so we've got a laptop over here. All right, it's, it, hang on, let's go back. Let me go back. No, you can't. All right, I didn't want to go back anyway. Um, all right, so gender. All right, so let's start on this side. Right, your profile. Right, birthday. That's, oh, yeah, birthday. That's the point. Well, it's tomorrow, I think. Yeah, my birthday. Uh, it's the 30th. It's the 31st of June. That gets you thinking, wouldn't it? 31st of June. There you go. Uh, oh, my God. UK.
um, gender, nose. It just, I'm not worried about little. What they call that button mushroom, isn't it? Uh, eyes. Yeah, nice big, big blue eyes. There we go. Like just same as mine. That's it. I've got a bit more hair than that though. I've got a bit more hair. Where is it? Where's the hair? There we are. That's it. Blonde hair. Can we have blonde hair? There you go. That'll do. I'm not being too fussed with it. Um. Uh. Okay. What logo should we go for? Um. Basic this one here, isn't it? That one or this one? Maybe we'll go with that one. Now let's just have that. Um, enter the company name. Um, should we call it Owls? Salvage. Yards. Right. That's good enough, isn't it? Our salvage yard. Let's take the yard off. Our hip salvage. It's for the elderly. Don't take the piss. And for God's sake. <laughs> what? What's going on? Uh, this device allows for the operation of your business. Click on the tabs and buttons to use numerous functions available. Uh, for example, message box, auction house, and much more. Don't worry, each panel, I'm worried, each panel contains separate introductory tutorials. Okay. So there's the dockyard. Okay, message box. So here you'll manage your messages. Well, yeah, because it's a message box, isn't it? Uh, the messages tab contains information important and less important and i was spam um just like real life don't it really um and reminders the orders tab contains messages with the locations of Rex. yeah that's right <laughs> i remember that see i thought this was a good game and so did you guys we all had a, you know a little bit of a laugh of it it was good fun messages can be of various types some will simply welcome you to the game world while others may contain ship metrics that you can embark on a expedition um, no submarines, please. No submersibles, please. I'm not getting in a submersible. Um, not into the deep. That's not a piss take, by the way. It's not. That was a really sad thing, that was. Um, why didn't they have a plan B, though, but, uh, about that submersible? Why didn't they do that? How can a law allow someone to go that deep and not have a plan B? I, 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 I was thinking about that over the last few days I thought well who would get in it I wouldn't I'd say well, just in case mate something goes pear shaped what happens you can't get out if a submarine but reverses up and finds you and you're still alive and it reverses up it can't get you out of that it's not a hatch to hatch thing you're bolted in there they get in and then that that is all bolted shut the only person that can get them out of that submersible is a bloke on the ship at the top Stuff that. Anyway, it's very, it's a very sad event. There, it's very sad. Um, I feel sorry for all the uh, the families that are left to pick the pieces up. But it's, it's a shame. But anyway, um, <coughs> the beginning of something extraordinary. What's this? Chris Bankton. Um, after reading the content of the message, click confirm to continue. Okay, all right. Uh, finally, I've been waiting for this day for so long. Uh, what have we got? Reward, thirty grand. All right. Uh, you finally decided to set up your business. Uh, I made some calls and I found you uh, your first good target. All right, that sounds good. We're going diving in. Uh, for a long time, it was ignored by prominent players because the uh, the reward seemed too small. But it looks like a good objective for you. It's an old German sub, the U-190. It carried out six war patrols. Only six. And then we sunk it. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was funny. Um, okay, it's an old German submarine. You are not a Six war patrols and uh, what's most impressive, sunk two ships. It's just a shame it was the own one, wasn't it? It was their own ones. Um, I can't wait to see what you find there. Good luck. Fourth of January, twenty-one. See that? See that? 
sometimes I have to look at these again because it can be the other the, the, in America that's read different to how we do it um, it's day month year so that will be the 4th of January 21 whereas over there it will be April the 1st 2021 it's, it's, it gets very confusing. I don't know why it's done like that, but anyway, it, let's go on. So let's confirm where else we got in. I know my. I don't think it's going to let us do that, is it? It wants us to accept. Uh, after taking an order or, or any significant action in the game, you will get a message with confirmation of a, additional details. Uh, remember to check them regularly to catch up with anything you missed during your tips. Messages can contain information about Rex. Notice about your options you can choose from remind you about overdue payments. Okay, oh, for God's sake. Expedition start. That's right. Uh, these panels are used for preparing you for expeditions. This is where you start the process of preparing for an expedition and exploring wrecks. In the first panel, you may choose, uh, you have to choose, sorry, uh, you have to choose your expedition go on ship. Okay, so expedition. These panels are for preparing you for your expedition. Oh my God, yeah, I know that. I've just bloody clicked on it. Uh, this is where you start the process of preparing for an expedition and exploring wrecks. In the first panel, you have to choose a... What is it, a reading simulator? Because I bloominate reading. I can't read. Uh, <laughs> in this list, you find shipwrecks sorted by category. Good stuff. And there's one we're going for. We're going for the U-190. Right. Look, is my, let me show you my house. Right. If you look carefully, you'll see me waving out the window. That's where I am. On this little island down the bottom here. Beautiful place it is. Get away from all of the riffraff in the UK. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, people. Um, no, it's nice down here. Beautiful, nice and warm. Um, look out the window and wave at the frogs. It's great. And, my, and I'm a little ass right there by the beach. Fantastic stuff. But anyway, we're not here to show you that. Let's get on. Uh, sector unavailable. Okay. So buy a sector. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you've got to buy it. And then because you can't, if someone else owns it, doesn't it? Uh, buy a sector for 35 grand or buy one time access for eight and a half. Here you'll find all expedition ships you own. Well, we don't own any. Uh, choose which ship is the best for you to go on this expedition. Uh, in the last step of the expedition preparation, you will have the opportunity to repair or refuel. Well, yeah, it does help. Uh, fishing ship damaged. It, I don't remember this game being this. Do, do you remember that, guys? It, it's been in detail as much as this. I, I don't remember that. Um, the video is still on the channel. From April last year, I'll have to um, I'll have to see if I can go back and watch it. Um, after dealing with everything in a certain screen of expedition organising, you can use the same buttons before to move forward. Really? Right. So we're now we're going to select the workers, right? Uh, this is the sailor selection panel. Oi, oi, sailor! Uh, you have to sail with experienced crew. You have to sail with experienced crew uh, to explore the ocean and, and use the vital features of the boat. Note that some parts of the boat need crew with specific statistics to work. That's right. Yeah, I remember that bit. Okay. Martin Gonzalez. I'll take it he's Mexican, yeah? <laughs> I don't know what that flag is, actually. What is that flag? I'm not good with flags. Um... I don't know any of these on here. None of them at all. Um, right, so his wage. He wants 4,200. He wants 5,100. He wants 4,800. We, we, we like Martin. <laughs> so we'll take him. We'll add him. Um, strength. He ain't got much strength. He's a... Oh, my God. He hasn't got any at all. Look at these dudes here to him. No, I don't, I don't want to add him. Oh, God. I've shot myself in the foot now. So he ain't got a lot of strength, but he's very agile. Okay. He's got a little bit of intellect. I see more intellect in a blooming yoghurt pot than what he's got. 
Right, let's add him on. Lads, do you want to jump on? Choke him out and swap places with him. Right, so we're going to set the inventory. So 38 years old, Martin, you dead. Drop me in it, Martin. I'll tell you what, you'll be going overboard, sunshine. Uh, maximum speed, uh, crew size. Okay, let's set the inventory. This is the last moment where you can transfer the necessary items between locations. Uh, it's best to take only what is most necessary. We take, we get ROVs and all things like that in this game. It's good stuff. So we're going to transfer stuff, player, to storage. Well, there's, there is nothing, is it? We can't. I mean, we've got it on us. We've got our torch. We've got that. So, yeah, well, that's it. We can't transfer anything. Uh, the final step is to confirm your trip with the big go to sea button. The, I like that. The big go to sea button in the bottom right corner of the screen. After that, your trip will be added to your calendar. Let's go on an adventure. Uh, so go to sea. Days till the start of the expedition. One. Uh, timeline. The timeline governs time. I never knew that. <laughs> cool, dear, I'm only joking. Um, uh, governor's time in the bottom bar, you can find uh, information about the current week and events. Uh, you can expand the timeline to see more details and use the buttons on the right side to change the display week and start time. Try it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Speed it up, stop it, pause it. Go and have a jam sandwich, come back, click it again. Uh, there are two steps to the expedition. The first one is the phase of preparation for the expedition, defined by actions like refueling, storage, management, um, and ship maintenance. The second is the phase of travelling to the target sector. Uh, would you like to start it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, we'll go now. Yeah. <laughs> We've arrived. A drone can dive deeper than human. Well, well, blimey, that's not rocket science, is it, really? Okay, so there's the, um, there's the boat, right? Oh, oh hang on. Um, so 67% fuel, the condition is 100%. Unloading idea. Uh, oh, is it, we've got an inventory on there. Change perspective. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, let's get on the boat then. Yeah. The, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. God, what's the matter with it? So it's three meters over there. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want to do anything, do we? We don't want to change anything. Uh, there's the player. So we've got a torch. Uh, I, I know all that thing is there, but it's, it's ours. My God, why can't I move forward? That's it. I had to de-interact myself. I was I was stuck on that wheel. Uh, welcome to the Captain's Bridge. This is where your adventure at sea begins. The tasks of your mission are not easy. Be careful, Wreck Hunter. Be careful, Wreck Hunter. From here, you can steer the ship by interacting with the rudder. No, get out of it. Uh, this is where you can interact with objects by clicking F on the oxygen cylinders. Uh, you can dive underwater. Uh, the desk lets you return quickly to your orifice. Gotcha. There's the boat. Uh, when you control the ship, you can change the camera using the V key. No. Uh, there are two views, outside the ship and on the captain's bridge. You can choose which is better for you. Uh, now you can go with the rudder and try it out. Well, I just want to see... 
I think that the oh, so we've got we've got the blower there. That's where you dive. Back to the office. Gotcha. So, steer the ship. From now on, you can manage the boat yourself. Yeah, that's nice of you. Thanks for that. Served your purpose of you. Um, in the external view, you can press the mouse wheel button and your mouse look around. Yeah, I've got that. You can only use the mouse. Oh, when on the bridge, you can only use the mouse. You can also click the UI buttons in the overview to interact with them. Gotcha. Uh, when you're aboard, you can open the ship. There's a lot in here, aren't there? You can open the ship and bench with the eye button. Yep, yep, got that. Oh, hang on, go back. Uh, move items to the cargo hold. Okay, I didn't read that bit. Um, so you can dive for more treasures. That's right, you can, get, you can surface. Send your stuff over, go back down. Uh, don't forget, folks, if you want to see more like this, please set the time at the like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and all that old jazz and send me any... Any comments on the game? It'd be nice to hear from you. Uh, except for UI buttons, you can also use your rudder functions with keys. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Uh, to increase the ship's uh, speed. Click W, decrease as Yeah, we got it left and right. Usual stuff, isn't it? Right, so... Depth 106. Two, one. That's it, we're there. We're there, aren't we? Is it not going back? It doesn't feel like it's moving. Have I got the handbrake on? Oh, he's going. Yeah, he's going. It's just on slow. There you go. Right, we're done. So, are we we sorted now? Are we okay? Find the wreck. First order. Find the wreck. U190. Lovely jubbly. Right. Uh, I haven't got to put the anchor down. Oh, I nearly said that wrong. So dive with drone. You don't have a drone. All right. Well, we ain't going to dive with it then, are we? It's simple. Uh, dive. Oxygen. I don't know what we need the blower for. There's nothing here, is there? That's what we take. Right. Well, let's go then, shall we? So dive. Uh, use this button to jump in the water and start exploring it by yourself. Remember about the depth limits. Without specialised equipment, there are strict limits to how deep you can swim. Dive, not swim. Uh, your most basic equipment allows you to dive only 200 metres. Gotcha. Um, oh, hang on. So underwater you can move with it. Yeah, you can also submerge with a control and emerge with a space. Right, gotcha. Uh, the HUD shows your current oxygen level. Uh, pressure and depth. Watch it clearly. It's your tool for checking. 100 metres. 92% oxygen. Gotcha. 2% Ping sonar. The closer you are to the underwater item, the faster the light flashes. Oh, there you go. Bloop. Is, is this thing on? There's, there's, there is some stuff around. There's something over there, look. What's that?
Uh, at the top, you can see how deep we are, 89, 90 metres. So how do you... Um, turn the torch on and off? You don't. It's, it's on. Simple. Uh, oh my god, there's a gun, look. Right, we'll take the gun. Base bar up, gotcha. 97 metres, right there. Are. So there's other boxes over there. We need a knife, don't we, or something? There's something over there as well. I'll tell you what I'm looking around for. I was thinking of sharks. I can't help it, you know? I've got this bad phobia. It, it, since Jaws has been out, I bet it is. I know and there's lots of other people exactly the same. Deep water like this. I'd be bothered that something is coming like about 30 mile an hour pelting at me right now. And for that reason, I, you would never see me diving. Weather pistol again. Uh, so let's turn the torch off. Skull. Discovered to show metric. Uh, purpose torpedo attack the U190. Yeah. The build at work. They built it at work. They can't even spell it, but. Uh, August 1942. Um, oh, hang on, let's keep an eye on that stuff. Four minutes. So that's a bit of it. Automatic rifle. Let's go I. So we've got plenty of space, cool. That's great. Let's keep it all organised. Let's put that down there actually and put that in there. Great. What else have we got? We need to get some more stuff, don't we? Let's go up. Oh, there's something there, look. One, two, oh, it's three, that is four. There's a grenade. Uh, there's some dude here. Is that a dude? That's not someone's head, doesn't it? Some figurine. MG34. There's a load of stuff over there. I think we're going to have to uh, probably come back down again, aren't we? Come on. Gotcha. Cool. How are we doing for space? Oh my god, that fills up quick, doesn't it? I'll put that in there. Let me put that in there. Can we, uh... There you go. Just answered my question. I was just going to say, can we rotate it? And uh, a bit like we've done that. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, find all items. Uh, collect the engine. I'm going to do Put it in my pocket. 44% oxygenation left. It's not looking good. Uh, is there anything else laying around the seabed that flashing green that we can see? Let's go up a little bit, let's get some elevation. I can't see anything flashing green. I know we've got the... There's the ship over there. But something could have gone far out though, couldn't it? Over here. Oh, there you go. We have got a shift button. You can use the shift. Propel us along a little bit. What about these boxes here? Can we use these? Can I put that? No, you can't. I didn't know if I could use it, you know? I don't know what the situation is with opening boxes. Look, there's stuff right over here as well. 
Um, I don't want to lose the ship. I think we're far enough, wouldn't we? Let's go back. What is this thing? All right. Coast of Yarl, we, we got it. Right, yeah. Can I just get rid of that? There you go. There's nothing else laying around. Um, look at the auction, 26%. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that. Um, and I'll take it we've got to go on this boat, haven't we? There's nothing here. Aeroplane? What's it? It's not Spitfire, is it? It's not Spitfire. Uh, what are we on? 21%. There's the ship. Should we go up? Um, I, I think so. Is there a quicker way to get up it? There was one there. What was it? 40, 30. Oh, they were all right. We're, we're going pretty cool. 14, 13, 12. So what's the negative stuff then? I'm still, I'm struggling to um, define that. Maybe it will go up in a minute then. I don't know. Uh, right, so where do we put the, um, where, where do we put all the stuff? Back to the office. Uh, no, 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 we don't want to go back to the office. I, I want to put the stuff off. Put it in there. Change the anchor status. We wasn't even anchored. Is that, is that down? I, I don't know, you can't see anything, can you? Uh, phone, call a cargo ship, no, no, I don't, how, how do we, um, I can't put this stuff in, how much space we got, oh, hang up there, you, you just open the inventory and it's there, look, move to ship, right, it doesn't organise it though, does it? Move to ship. We see it just chucks it anywhere. No, but it's, it doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's it's quite a basic game though, isn't it? It's just, you know, I'm not being negative about it at all. It's, um, I, I don't mind playing it actually. It's, it, I think it's all right. It's quite a little bit relaxing. Okay, right, so... I suppose we've put up with oxygen now. But we still haven't got the engine. Let's go back. So we've got to find the engine now and see where that is. I mean, is it still on the vessel? Uh, oxygen has refueled. Good. We like to see that. So it's always nice to know you've got a bit of option when you're going down on it. Um, yeah, I, I think the engine's still on it, isn't it? But it, it can get taken off. I mean, anything can happen. I mean, look at Titanic. There's a bit of it here, and another bit right over the back there, and it's a bright mess down there, isn't it? It broke the part up the top here, and the currents can snap stuff up, can it? All right, well, I thought we was going to go in this end piece here, actually, but um, I think there's a change of plan on that one. <laughs> We're not getting in there. Um, can we go through the door? No, you, you can't. I don't know if we were allowed to board it, then. Is there a big hole where it was crunched up or something? Is 
Is that the engine in front of me I'm looking at? That's the plane, isn't it? Also, I wasn't looking. I was looking at this thing flashing. It's definitely over here, isn't it? There we go. You can see it flashing down in there. Look. First mission completed. Is there nothing else around here? Collect Enigma. Find 25% of all items in this location. We're at 75%. Okay, there's something else down here. Look, there's a couple of items actually. Skull. I don't find this little light all that helpful, to be honest with you. I think I've missed something around here, though. It's, there's got to be something around here, isn't there? So we're on 88%. There's still some bits left. I don't know where they are. Might be over here. There's a bit of ship there. It could be anywhere then, couldn't it? There's nothing that way. Probably half oxygen already. Well, my light's not flashing no more. I know I said it was useless, but I was kind of getting the hang of it. Okay, we've started flashing again. Slow down there. There's some somewhere else around here then. Forty percent oxygen. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, where is it then? There's somewhere here, isn't there? But. Can't get the bolt. Oh my god, this is bugging me. I mean, you get a little green light, but on the box or the item you've got to pick up, but I'm not finding it. So there must be something round here then. I mean, you can always um, knock it on the edge. Don't, you don't have to look for every single item. 
but I should imagine that if you do, there's, there's, there's got to be some kind of reward for us, isn't there? There has to be something. 27. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go up. Get some more oxygen. Dump off what we got. <laughs> and I just want to check a little bit further on the other side. Oh, my God, I think I left the handbrake off. We drifted right over here. So maybe the anchor was already down then. Oh, I don't know. Where is the anchor? Let's have a look. Is it is it down or... I think it's down because it's normally stuck on the thing, isn't it? Oh, there it is. The anchor's not... It's bloody up. No wonder we, the thing's going for a walkies. So it must... Put it down automatic there. Okay, so where where are we? It says here we're on target. You can't see nothing, can you? I mean, does it say anything? Anchor up, anchor down. I would have thought that was up. And that's down. I don't know. Uh, okay, right, let's have a little look. The Enigma machine, cipher device developed and used in the early to mid 20th century. Okay, we've put that in. Uh, I don't want to sort of dwell too much on this area though. I know we've still got the other bit to get. Um, because there's, there is other dives and stuff. And I'd sooner, to be honest with you guys, I'd sooner show them to you. I mean, you, you get the gist of it with this one, we've seen it. Let, let's, um, let's go back to the office. Well, not that one on the head. There was only another little bit down there, wasn't there? That, that There's not much going on, is there? So, um, And I'm going to see what the next one is. Uh, would you like to transfer finding some ship to storage? Yeah. Here's a summary of your expedition. World War II automatic rifle, the MG34, the MP40, a Wolfer pistol. Market price, look at this, 10 grand. 14 grand, 17, 15. Wow. Okay, some good stuff. Purpose torpedo attack, crew of 57. It's quite interesting. Uh, congratulations, you completed. Uh, use timeline for a message that will include further metrics, but be careful so you don't have to pay employees more than you earn a month. Uh, now you have freedom in your choices. Go and sell stuff you gathered to buy new tools for your adventures. Okay. Uh, you're now on your own from... Oh, great. Already. Just there you go. You're on your own, mate. Good luck. Uh, one last note, be sure to check out storage in your business panel. From there, you can manage and organise your storage. Uh, the pawn shop takes only things that you keep in your storage. Okay, message in box. Welcome to your new office. Um, the verdict you've already moved in. The air conditioner was a little rough and you know, stuff that. Uh, for a colleague... Yeah, okay, I'm not worried all about that. Um, I want to know where the, um, where is it, the army, the investors? Events, 
You found a new wreck. So, uh, where's the... Uh... Oh, is this it? The auction house? Uh, this is the auction house. Here you can buy items and sell them at auction. If, if you need quick income, you can sell items at a lower price at a pawn shop. Oh, wow. Extraction balloon. We've got scanners. Remote detonator. See, I love all stuff like this. I've always been fascinated with the deep. Uh, I won't go down there, but, you know, the fascination and wanting to do it, two different things. Uh, basic underwater drone, 12 and a half grand. Um, how much have we got? 263. Have we? 263 grand. Okay. Uh, there's, oh, there's the pawn shop. So you can sell stuff in there if you want. Um, add an offer. No, we're not my offers. We're not interested in that. Are we really? We want to get rid of stuff. We don't want to. Um, uh, this is a ship pod. You can buy upgrades for your ships or sell ships you no longer need. Cool. Uh, purchased fishing ship damaged okay uh, you're joking me right oh so one all right it's a grant uh, upgrades default Mark 1 engine. Basic antenna. So, default. A back crane. Well, this is stuff we've already got. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Have I messed this up or something? I think that's gone in. I, I don't know. Shipping item transfer. Fishing ship damage. Let's go back. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Extracted wrecks. Upgrade dock to buy. A boat. Oh my God! So you can get the stuff back and extract the whole wreck. Um. Look at this beast here, my God. How much is that, though? That's in the millions, isn't it? Yeah, we can't afford that. We can't. We, let's not even look at that one. I think we'll uh, sail on by there, Charlie boy. Sail on by. Uh, business. Contains information about your progress in the game. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's not a bad little game. I, I, I don't get the negative side. I mean, I suppose it might be this. Someone's moaning about reading all this, but it, you you do it once and then you then you go, don't you? You go and play the game. You have to go through this. It might be a bit of a steep learning curve. Someone can't play it, so they give it negative feedback. You know, it might be that old chestnut. Um, no, I think it's okay. It's it's not bad. It, it, I put that. I like stuff like this. So, you know, I I can't. It's got it's got some faults, of course it has. But anyway, we, we're going to leave it there. But if you do want to see more of it, um, let me know and um, hit the time at the like button. Of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I look forward to seeing you soon. Till then, from myself, Al Pal, uh, and Kingdom of Wreck Business. There is a link in the description. You want to check it out for yourself. Till next time, look after yourselves. Have a good week, and I'll see you all soon. Ta-da for now.